fact that like I know that sometimes things don't come case packed, but occasionally you can case pack something that's that you can create your own case pack if you need Absolutely. to and, ha and and do that so that it's not so say, you know, 10 is under that 18 uh, unit number that they send in. Um, if you have 10 of something and you have, you know, it, even just one case pack of that instead of splitting it to yeah, multiple yeah, yeah, warehouses. Yeah. Now, you I, now I understand. It. Now I understand what you're asking. Sorry, I wasn't trying to talk over you, but now I understand. So absolutely. Um, a case cap, a case pack could be anything up to, I think it's 200, maybe 250 units. Um, I don't remember exactly. We don't do a lot of case packs that big because you start getting into weight limits. Like the weight limit of a box is 50 pounds internally for us prep center it's 45 because we don't ever want you to get some hidden fee from amazon for going over the weight limit so 45 pounds is our max most of the time you know some of the ways a half a pound or whatever you're gonna be able to get you know 90 maybe 100 of them in a box so i don't know the exact limit off the top of my head uh, but generally speaking if, if you have 100 of the same thing we are going to case pack those so they will all go to one warehouse there's no reason to do them as individual units well amazon will then split them up into potentially split them up into three so yeah, absolutely that is something we can do a case pack we all have this this idea in our head that it has to be from the vendor that way mm -hmm. now, we're the vendor mm -hmm. so they can send me four boxes of 20 no problem and if amazon will allow it based on weight and size then i can send in one box of 80 and that is your new case pack mm -hmm. that is absolutely something that we do there's no reason for to send four boxes at about 11 bucks each which is our historical average of cost um, that's $44. Why do that when I can do it in one for 11 bucks? That saves you 33 bucks. And, you know, that might be doubling or potentially more than that of your profit. Absolutely. See, guys, that is just profit talking. This is not something the prep center has to do. It's what they do because they actually care about their customers and they want to save you money. So they will put something into a case pack without asking you because they know it's going to save you $35 or whatever it is. Um, that's obviously the still reason that we we are constantly sending our inventory to you guys um but yeah. and you guys no matter what like i want you to use my prep center of course number one because their team is fantastic they're just um fantastic people as a matter of fact just the other day uh, i heard that you guys onboarded another client that's a client of mine um who had nothing but amazing things to say uh, about you and noah and everyone at the team there she can't wait to be you know continue sending products to you guys because she just started her amazon business and she doesn't want to ship and prep anything ever. <laughs> so she wants to be remote. And that's always what I'm telling people. If you want to have the freedom of a remote operation, um, using a prep center is really one of the only ways that you can do that.